Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a half case break of uh, 2024 Fanatics Under Wraps Autograph Baseball. Uh, random team break number one. Pretty good price point right here for a six baseball break. Um, no Astros on this though, but the checklist is loaded. All the other teams are in there. We got single sign balls right here. We've got specialty baseballs in the mix, inscribed baseballs, you know, multi-signed baseballs. Looks like they're all gonna go to one team for those. Nice, so let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. So there's all the spots right here. Let's take out the Astros and let's roll it and randomize names and teams two and a six, eight times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After eight, we got Junior down to Lonnie. And then two and a six, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Otani undergoes left shoulder surgery. We got Angels down to Twins. Interesting. Expected to be ready for spring training. Okay, good. It's non-throwing shoulder, so. I'm okay with that. All right, so after A, we got Angels down to Twins, and here's how it all shakes out. Let's see, what font am I gonna use today? Right, let's try this right here. Junior with the Angels, Matt with the Diamondbacks and Brewers. Eric with the Mets, Eugene with the Nationals, Matt with the Rays, Jason with the Cardinals, Eric with the Braves, Matt with the Red Sox, Joe with the Pirates, Eugene with the Guardians, Eric with the Cubbies, Nancy with the O's, Joe with my Dodgers, Last Ball Mojo, the World Champs, Matt with the Reds, Nancy with the Royals, Joe with the Marlins, Eric with the Mariners, Lonnie with the Giants, Junior with the Padres, Adam with the Phillies, Blue Jays and Rockies, Eric with the Rangers and A's, Matt with the Yankees, Oliver with the White Sox, Matt with the Twins, Tigers that is, Lonnie with the Twins. And let's alphabetize by team. And we're gonna pause the video for a little bit for the trade window. So when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then we'll break. So stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back everybody. TWC trade window closed. So there's the, uh, the final printout right here. List remains the same as before. And obviously we're going by the checklist that's in the product description. The second half is in the store if you want to run this back. So let's pop open this fresh case. We got the checklist card right here as well. You can kind of get a better idea of the of the odds. So single sign baseball, that'd be the most common. Specialty baseballs, inscribed baseballs, and then multi-sign baseballs are the, the hardest to pull. All right, let's just, just to make life easy for us, let's just slide the top two, uh, or the top six right out here. Yeah, we, we can play America's Favorite Game, Who Am I? There's... That's an example of, of, of what we can get out of here. Right, Trout, Gunnar Henderson, Bryce Harper on the box, Bobby Wood Jr. on the back right here. Here's 
should be like a little card inside right there that'll tell me who the player is all right a retired pitcher 70 years old a righty Lifetime 197, 171 win loss record, a 3.5 ERA, 2,400 strikeouts, 24 and 1, 390 saves. He started his career with the Cleveland Indians. But that's not where this goes. Six time All Star World Series champion and AL MVP and AL Cy Young Award winner, two time Emily Saves leader. Also pitched a no-hitter and first ballot Hall of Famer in the early 2000s, 2004. There's only so many pitchers that have that, those kind of numbers. Yep, Oliver's got it. Dennis Eckersley. There it is, and that's A's on the checklist. You got all the stickers right there as well. Uh, that's going to be Eric Clicks in the A's. Rex is saying, yeah, 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 the Chiefs are 8 0. Oh, the crazy thing is, Rex, that this is where you have to watch the games. They do seem stoppable. But that's the scary thing. They. They are, uh, they are finding ways to win. It's, which is a mark of a good team, but I wouldn't say they're unstoppable. It's not, they're not breaking records offensively or anything like that, or even defensively. All right, there you go, Eric, with the A's. All right, next one. What's going on? How are you? Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. I'm, I'm, in the, you're, I'm in the middle of something, Jeff. Look at this guy. I'm trying to work here, and Jeff wants fist bumps because he wants attention on the stream. Do you want to do this? No. Come on in, Jeff. Oh, Jeff, you can do the great. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. All right, next up. All right. Let's play Who Am I? A uh, lefty hitter, lefty thrower, active outfielder slash first baseman. Career 259 batting average, 942 hits, 196 homers, 597 runs batted in. Played for two teams my entire career. A two-time All-Star, a World Series champion, an NL MVP, an NLCS MVP, an all MLB first team. They're starting to do that now. And an NL Rookie of the Year, Gold Glove Award winner, and a Silver Slugger. Two-time Silver Slugger. Who am I? No worries, Eric. Congrats. Nice, Oliver. It's Cody Bellinger. Nice. K. Lee got it, too. I thought Rex would be all over this one. There are your hologram stickers right there, and I think Cody, the autograph goes this way. And that's another one for Eric Clicks, Chicago Cubs. Cubs on the checklist.
message is for anyone and everyone with Medicare. Do you have the coverage you need? Medicare plans can change every year. And right now is the 2025 Medicare annual enrollment period. Do you know about Medicare Part C plans? Yeah, did see Bellinger opt in? I don't know, I think him being traded will depend on, on Cody Bellinger and the Cubs. Cody Bellinger is hitting well and the Cubs are not playing well, then I'm sure he would be, that would definitely make him a trade candidate. All right, Will Smith. I don't know which Will Smith is, this is. It's Dodgers Will Smith. Sorry, I forgot to play Who Am I here. World champion. World champion Will Smith. Joe Lawson has my Dodgers. Right, yeah, Oliver says Ballinger traded at... Next year's deadline since the Cubs will be out of contention. I know, screwing up my own game. That would be kind of funny if uh, if Teoscar doesn't re-sign, Dodgers go with youngsters, and then uh, and they could trade for Bellinger. I guess you can talk big this year, says Rex. Every year, actually, I think the Dodgers have had a better record than the Cubs for the better part of the last decade. All right, uh, active third baseman, a righty, bats right, throws right, a one-time all-star, played for one team my entire career, um, batting average, lifetime 277, 59 home runs, 336 runs batted in, debuted in 2020. So still, still in the early part of his career. And then I think uh, he was a NL Rookie of the Year runner-up. This is the year Devin Williams of the Brewers won, won that. I wouldn't mind Justin Turner. I mean, if, if like Miguel Rojas wasn't on the team, I wouldn't mind having Justin Turner back. I suppose we could still get him back. He could play a little, he could play a little third. I think he tied, he also tied, I think, second place in Rookie of the Year voting with Jake Cronenworth. Yep, Kay Lee's got it. Alec Baum. And that's for Adam Kupperman and the Phillies. There it is. He's got a nice auto. And then all the hologram stickers back there. It's impossible to put this card back into that slot that they have there. All right. All right, there you go, Adam. A couple more to go.
Yeah, I guess it's time for a new era of Dodger baseball. I, I would, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing Justin Turner back as like a bench coach or something like that. All right, who am I? I'm an outf active outfielder, a righty, lifetime 247, 72 home runs, 243 runs batted in, 67 stolen bases, played for three teams my entire career, debuted with the Cardinals. And he was in the 2014 MLB draft. Um, many scouts see this player as a fourth outfielder, but others think that he'll hit more than that. He was with the Cardinals, but that outfield logjam slowed his development ahead of his uh, rookie graduation. I don't know if anyone's gonna if anyone's gonna get this. He's a national, so that's gonna go to Eugene Lee. I think he was traded, he was actually drafted by Toronto, actually. And then Toronto traded him to the Cardinals for international signing bonus cap space. And then he started his career with the Cardinals, uh, I think in 2020. Then he was traded in 2021 to the Nats for John Lester. Called up in August 2021 and became the Nationals' everyday center fielder, supplanting Victor Robles. He actually had a pretty good run there. He had an over 700 OPS, 7 home runs, 27 RBIs in 45 games. Signed a one-year deal, primary Nationals' right fielder in 2023, batting 268, hitting career highs of 28 home runs and 20 stolen bases. Then avoided arbitration, signed a one-year deal. And then, yeah, then in July of this year, 2024, he was traded to the Guardians in exchange for Alex Clemmie, Jose Tena, and Rafael Ramirez Jr. And he hit a uh, grand slam off of Tariq Skubal in the bottom of the fifth of the Guardians to take the lead at 5-1 and send them to the ALCS. That should give it away. Yep, Lane Thomas. Not sure. Maybe did the Nationals have an outfield logged in? Nice. It's going to be for Eugene and the Nationals. But maybe he'll fun, find some success with the Guardians. It's got a, got a nice... Uh, you can see Lane Thomas in here, right? Take this out. There you go. He's got a decent power speed. Decent power speed combo. Oh, I guess with Dylan Cruz and others, yeah. I mean, if you're not going to get, he's not going to be a starting outfielder. Maybe uh, try to get something in return. All right, we got a retired player for this one. Sixty-two years old, born in L.A. 
Lefty hitter, lefty thrower, played for four teams my entire career. Lifetime 259 batting average, 335 home runs, 1,000 runs batted in right on the button. Eight-time All-Star, a three-time World Series champion, an NL Rookie of the Year, two-time Silver Slugger, an NL Home Run Leader, and on this team's Hall of Fame, and this team has also retired my number. Yep, Oliver's got it again, Daryl Strawberry. I gotta make these clues harder for Oliver. These are too easy. And that's another one for Eric Clicks, who has the Mets. There you go, Eric. So there's all the hologram stickers right there. And there's his autograph. Nice, there you go, boys and girls. Six box break of 2024 Underwraps Autograph Baseballs. A lot of fun stuff here. Full checklist on the product description so you will you know exactly what you're searching for when you get your team. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break.